What is popping, everyone? What's good? All right, how you doing? How we feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling think, alive. I'm I highly favored and blessed. This is a lot better than I was feeling last week. Last week it was very like solemn and very like uh, with the whole. It's like because yeah. you knew you had to address it. Because like I say, if you don't talk about it, it's like you're part of the problem. You're part of the fucking problem. As a black person, you have to talk. You have about to talk about it. As a human being, you have to talk about and it. And it's like I think I want to be more in a lighter mood and a lighter spirit. So it's like that's why I really wanted to do this show today because yeah. I wanted something light, funny, and to give y'all something to laugh about because we yeah. want to laugh too. We okay. Do. Cause they be hard. But guess what? I gotta tell you something. What do I tell bitch? It's been a whole week since I haven't said niggas ain't shit. <laughs> well, so niggas still benching. Okay, so I'm I'm back to saying niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't so, shit. Niggas ain't giving shit. Giving a moment out of solidarity that you didn't say niggas ain't shit. A I'm whole gonna, week. I'm gonna raise your niggas ain't shit to niggas ain't shit forever. Okay. What's your shit? <laughs> square. Niggas ain't shit square times two. Times two. Okay. All right. At first, I want to thank. Everyone who's been supporting us, sharing, shouting us out, showing us love, our Show fans, all of that love. shit. Y'all been y'all make our hearts so full because Thank we you. put so much work into mm -hmm. this and money Honestly, into this. Honestly, we do. We do put so much work in there. I don't think people yeah. understand how much work a podcast actually takes. Yeah. People I always see people like always are like saying, I want to start a podcast, I want to start a podcast. I'm like, good luck, nigga. Cause yeah. it's like not only did to put money into it, you have to actually care about your craft. You have to actually Put time and attention. You have to be present. You have to. It also depends on what direction they want to take a podcast yeah. to. Because some people want a podcast just to talk. Honestly, and some people like us want a podcast to, you know, for something else. But I say you yeah. have to use your platform for what is productive. And I right. think if you're just sitting right. there talking, just go hang out with your fucking friends. <laughs> Sorry, but I, I, I feel like if you want to just talk, just talk. I, I support it. Some people use it as a live journal, whatever. It's an outlet. Yeah, it is. You know what? It's whatever you want to use your podcast for. It's fine. I'm trying to make some money. Okay. Okay. Hello, sponsorships. Do y'all see us? Because we're looking for y'all. Okay. okay. All right. So if you haven't already, you need to subscribe to us at YouTube. You need to follow us on Facebook. You need to follow us on Twitter. And you need to follow us on Instagram at The Real Sip and Spill. I lied. Twitter, it's Sip and Spill One. Yes, it is. But once again, we do have a YouTube. Yes. Once again, we do have a YouTube. And like we always keep telling you, what do we keep saying? Give us a five star rating because we have five star B. And link in bio. Get with another messy ass episode of Sip and Spill where we create conversations all while. Sipping wine. I go by the name of Thug Motherfucking Zammy. And I am Ambitious New Locks Teray. What's right. good? Hello. I like that. I like Thank that. You. So we're going to some fun facts. Let's tell us some fun facts, bitch. So over the weekend, I was in a music video, y'all. Okay. I have fun. You know, I've never done it before, so it was a new experience. Experience. I enjoyed myself. It was long. I was there for like the first day. I was there for five hours. And next next day, I was there for six hours. You went to a video shoot twice. Yeah, it was a two day shoot. Oh Lord Jesus! Absolutely yeah, not. No. I only did it because the guy. He's a real good friend of mine. I've did he pay you anything? No, or was it just it was. It was. I, I mean, I love him and I care about him, so I would do anything for him. I would do it for free. I don't care. Um, if he wanted to pay me, it would be good. Pay. <laughs> you know? But I wasn't expecting. Because we not pay. working, you know me. <laughs> right, I wasn't expecting the payment, but it was it was fun. I played um, the girlfriend. You know? All right. So check it out. My so you wasn't shaking ass. I was not shaking any if ass. If you gonna put me in a video, y'all, y'all better tell me to shake this ass. I've been shaking ass for the last year. I'm trying to go the rest of my life shaking for ass. the last year? You just started shaking ass last year? I mean, I've been shaking it more consistently. Like before, okay. before it was like really just mirror shakes. Like okay. ass shaking, ass shaking, ass drop. Ass shaking, ass shaking, ass okay. shaking. Okay. But yeah, and now it's more consistently. Like, you know, I'm supposed to be out here on the scene. So, you know. Yeah, I, that's not me. I'm not going to be twerking a music video. Um, I'll play the leading lady, though, you know, but that's not Sometimes it. the leading lady has to throw some ass, you know, just so that she knows. <laughs> Hello. Just so the niggas can know okay. where, where home is at. Okay. So, my fun fact is, more recently, this is actually really an embarrassing fact about me because I get such a rush out of going shopping for decor. That's not I, embarrassing. That's kind of embarrassing because that makes me feel like I'm, I'm like really adulting and growing up. Like, no, we is. We are. Because I like used to get excited about buying sneakers, but now it's like, I like bought the $65 lamp. I think it's actually more than that. I can't even think about it right now. And like, it I'm like, $75. Oh shit! Okay, well, <laughs> I'm calling all my friends. Like, round the troops up, round the troops up. Look at my motherfucking lamp, and all my friends were like, "That's your style." I can see. It. I'm like, it was a bitch cute. is chic. Okay, yeah. okay, a bad bitch. Give a fuck about a nigga. fucking back. Oh, five, six, 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 six. So yeah, for sure. Like, true life. I'm addicted to shopping. Um, for decor, call me up because honestly, I'm my, I'm a self proclaimed. Um, what do I call myself? Interior decorator. So if y'all got anything that y'all got going, you know, you got an empty space, a blank canvas, and you want me to bless it, 
I will. Link in bio. Link in bio, book her. <laughs> okay. So let's get into some wine facts so we can get some tea time. Tea time. And side note, y'all, I know y'all see some wine in our glasses. We drank it early, you know, we just couldn't wait, okay? Period. Okay, this is relax. I know, I got this bottle because I'm like, I've been going through some stuff this week, so this, this bottle said, bitch, relax. Relax, You know, bitch. if you got a friend I've been going through some shit, give me the bitch, bottle. Bitch, relax. Bitch, relax. You know, it's it's all good. So this bottle, is it's a Riesling, and a Riesling reminds me of old women because from my experience, old women tend to order Riesling. <laughs> it's an old bitch wine. I guess I'm an old bitch because I, I think I like Riesling a little bit too. I, I, I like it. I just a little bit. And I'm like, you know what? I enjoy me some Riesling. I'm, I'm an old hoe. You know, I got an old hoe I'm spirit. I'm going to say you light skin champagne. You all right with me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be slightly dry with a wonderful fruity bouquet with intense flavors. It is best paired with seafood, poultry, and fresh salad. Best served chilled, which we did not chill it, but it's still good. It's going to be medium sweet with only 9.5% alcohol content in a 750 milliliter bottle. So you're not going to get lit lit. Unless you get two bottles. That's why we got two bottles. Because we're trying to get a little lit lit. I was going to say, my nits are only reserved for getting lit. So yeah. I, don't, I don't choose anything less than that. So it's not as much as we usually do. But I think we're going to enjoy it. It's light. It's fruity. It's fun. It's fresh. So let's get popping. Okay. So speaking of old bitches, you know, let's drink a Riesling at the house. Okay. I recently came across, you know, these Karen Gone Wild Instagram story, like stories mm -hmm. on, well, on Instagram. I said Instagram stories on Instagram. Y'all leave me the fuck alone. Okay. So I came She's across this three, account. Three shots of Jameson before this, so you know what, we're going to let I, this slide. I seen this account dedicated just to Karens. And what a Karen is, is an entitled white woman. We're just going to make it that fucking simple. Because y'all okay. bitches are entitled. And y'all do, it's not even about race anymore. Okay. It's about whatever the fuck they feel they just need to speak on. Because and there's, there's levels of this shit. I there's think there's a barber. There's a Susan, there's a Karen, there's a Kylie. And the Karen are like the 35-year-olds. 35-year-olds. 40-year-olds. Who's the Kylies? The Kylies are the like... Kylies the are the younger ones. They're yeah. like the 18-year-olds, okay. 19-year-olds yeah, doing okay. the dumb shit. Yeah, the, the Karens Barbers are Susan, the, yep. the older ones. The older ones. Are the bitches about to die. I'm... <laughs> okay. So Still it's, like, it's like yeah, it's not even about like no. I said it's not even about race anymore. It's y'all just too entitled. It's like yeah. the narrative of the angry black woman needs to be shifted to the the angry Karens because y'all bitches are mad about everything. You mad because your husband cheating on you. You mad because your kids don't fucking love you. You mad because you don't got no fucking career. Don't take your frustrations out here on the world. We just saying we here. We see y'all and y'all need to cut the shit out. Stop calling the police unnecessarily. There's They're not no your reason. fucking sidekicks. They're, They're not, not your gonna help personal. You. They're assistant. not gonna save you. Yeah. Um, I saw a police. I saw a lady call the police on a black woman for sitting on a bench because she wouldn't get up the bench when she wanted her to, and stuff like. I honestly, this should be a crime. Don't, they should, should be. go to jail. For but doing no, that. honestly, because yeah. you're like unnecessarily calling the cops. It's like the boy who cried wolf. Like they're crying wolf. After you called wolf so many times, you just got to start believing that these bitches be lying. And the thing is, it's like clockwork. The same thing happens. They record you. You get exposed. You lose your job. You lose your job. Why do y'all continue to cycle? I guess because they don't give a fuck. They don't, give they a don't fuck. have shit to lose. You know what? They probably don't have a job. You know what? Some of them don't. They angry as fuck. And yeah. you know what? They just want to express their anger with however they can. Right. But um, speaking of you calling shit on black people, we talk about Black Lives Matter and black what the lives fuck happened. Matter. So DC renamed a street, one of their streets, to Black Lives Matter Street, and that's completely unnecessary. We did not ask for we a street. Not. We asked for you to stop killing us. We did. No, we asked for you to treat us like a human we being. Did. Absolutely, we did. That's all we want. Black people don't want revenge. Nope. We just want to be equal. We want equality. And they're doing unnecessary things. I saw a video of white people denouncing their white privilege. I saw a video of white people, like you said, um, shaving, shaving their, their heads. heads with their fellow sisters and brothers. It's all that does not help us at all. We are not an Instagram hashtag. This we're is our not. lives, and this is something that we're really serious about. So I think you should take heed of what you're doing and what you're saying because at the end of the day, we have to live this life. Right. You get to post it and keep going about your life. We have to constantly keep reminded every dime that we see someone right. that looks like us die, that right. black lives don't, don't matter, matter to y'all. Right. And we're going to be black. We were black yesterday. We're going to be black today. And we're going to be black tomorrow. Okay. That little post you did for a week is not shit. Where, not. where is your money going to? How many black people do you employ? Where Are you donating to to black charities like what do that's you what even matters. shop black yeah like do you even support us are you even a, like are you an ally worth like actually that is what we need yeah. we don't need y'all shaving y'all's hands we don't we don't Ugh. really because we're not even using y'all's hairs okay? <laughs> we use brazilian okay brazilian hair 
But yeah, um, Black Lives Matter. Um, uh, we we love the allies, but please do something more than that. Please and call that. out anyone who isn't doing more. Like I DM Jim Shark about their shit because mm-hmm. they had a Black Lives Matter post. But if you look at Jim Shark, they don't post any Black people. They don't. So, so Black Lives don't matter to y'all. Yeah. Stop. Stop using us as a hashtag. Stop I, using us as a way to lobby us. It's a spirit because, week for them. Yeah, it is. It's like y'all think it's so cute and so yeah. tiny. Like, oh, we we stand with y'all. You can stand with us, but are you gonna fall with us? Yeah. That's it. That's, That's all we it. need to know. That's what we need to know. So, um. OnlyFans. OnlyFans. You know what? I've I've always thought about making an OnlyFans. I, I think I still do. might do it. There's still time because we're still not working. Yeah, I w- I want to do it because I feel like when people see that OnlyFans link in your bio, they're gonna automatically judge you and yeah. think you're doing something sexual, even though that's not always the case. Because yeah. I know a girl who has an OnlyFans and she cooks. Yeah. And I know a guy who has an OnlyFans and he plays video games. So. <sighs> it's only- honestly a way of networking and just uh, putting it's your like a Patreon. It's exactly honestly. like a Patreon, except. Yeah, there's no so, difference. It's a Patreon. Okay. <laughs> so people like tend to judge people who have OnlyFans and call them hoes yep. or call them sex workers or like, oh, she got an OnlyFans link in her bio, mm-hmm. she must be hoeing. Yeah. You know, I might be selling feet pictures, honestly, because that's what I'm going to do. And I keep telling y'all because I be getting my pedicures, I've been up on that shit. Oh, so yeah. you know, when y'all see something, I like really want to start our OnlyFans and just do yoga poses. That's what I want to do. I think that's a really a good one though. That's what I want to do. But I I know when people see that OnlyFans link in my bi- link in my bio, they're just gonna be like, oh, she hoeing. But in. but you never know. Some people might just click it. At, click it out of interest you know like you might so should you I can, start only you might you should I and mean, it's like you might you can post a sexy picture yeah. but then when they go to your only fans <laughs> i'm only doing they're like this fucking bitch <laughs> you already you already spent your money though <laughs> so that i guess brings us to our topic of conversation today can you delete, delete your wholeness so like we're gonna say can you delete your wholeness Speaking of hoes, I think that before we get into this, I think we have to say something very important to y'all so you understand where my head's at when we're talking about this shit, okay? You ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. Once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe. And I'm admitting it, I won't take it back, cause I did that shit, I was a hoe. Mo money, I want your money, I want mo money, I want your money. Okay, so That's seriously, <laughs> honestly, I, love that song. I do too, so Mariah Lynn, thank you so fucking much. Shout out. Because if we're talking about, if can you delete your wholeness, let's talk about it. Because when you talk about being a hoe, it's objective. What is a hoe? A hoe, well, let's talk about it on two, like, you know, let's do it on two wavelengths. When you talk about a hoe, it's usually something about sexually active people that are just, you know, engaging in a lot of, I guess, hoish activity. I don't even know how to express hoish activities because I might be doing some hoish shit, but I'd be like, you know what? I feel like doing it. Women empowerment. I like to spin it so much. Okay. And then there's also that kind of thing, like, when you're doing some hoish tendencies as in, like, so you're doing per- like, hoish shit, like personality traits. Yeah. Like, you over here, like... Oh, you being a hoe. Yeah, you being a hoe. Like, you, you choosing this nigga over us, and we've been riding with you for yeah. so long. So, it's like, there's too many different ways that you can... But in Houston, everything a hoe. Everything is a hoe. hoe. Yeah. My wine glass a I'm hoe. Saying, oh, this hoe you is hitting. Like, everything is a hoe. So you're yeah. right. So everything is subjective, and it's about what you think it is. But today, we're talking about the sexual shit, because that's all y'all really want to go for when it comes to talking about hoeing, okay? Okay, so what is... To me, I feel like if you are... 25 and over yeah you too grown to be a hoe yeah because at the end of the day what? i know what i'm doing i know what i'm doing so <laughs> if you call me a hoe i'm gonna laugh like okay i'm gonna say yeah i'm, I'm a hoe and what and like what? bitch i'll call you a i hoe. call myself a hoe <laughs> like hello like we just said once I'm I'm old old old. Old. i mean whole shit is like when that shit hurt was when I was in high school. Yeah. Like, oh my god, like, I'm that's, like, that's like some shit you want to kill yourself over when yeah. you're like in high school. You're like, oh my god. Like, right. I, like I saw this tweet and it was like, yeah, I ruined the whole dating pool because I was a hoe in high school. I mean, if you was a hoe in high school, you didn't have strict parents. That's all I gotta fucking say. Because my <laughs> mama wasn't letting me fuck even when I was fucking. Sorry, you were mama. Like, oh, was I fucking? I, I was. lost my virginity when I was like 17. I did too. I did too. That's but technically, we like kind of grown then, like because right. like because seventeen, eighteen is like you must go to college. You yeah, but I think if you fucking at twelve, you a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a double standard when it comes to sex. There's definitely um, a double standard. Men, it's all oh like how many bitches you fuck. Mm-hmm. For guys, it's good for them. It's cool. They get points mm-hmm. for having sex with a lot of men. Oh, men or women. Honestly. Whatever, whatever you choose. Yeah, all hoes with the sex. Okay, whatever you choose, whatever your sexuality is. And for women, if we have too many sexual partners, we're it's somehow problem. devalued. Yeah. Um, there's, there's so much... What's the word for it? There's so much... What's the word? Not prize, but so much that comes into our vagina. 
They're like, oh, it's a flower. Oh, he has a he what has a key. Hey, what is the but word? you're the lock, and he yeah. puts the key in the lock. And I don't know. It just, you can't open I guess it, you know? I guess like in a biblical sense, because everyone yeah. always wants to act like your body's a temple, like yeah. X, Y, and Z. But I'm like, what if my fucking body is like a Popeyes on the side of the street? What if I want my body to be whatever the fuck I want it to be? I feel like Popeyes on the side of the street. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know what? I think that. We need to stop acting like our I'm bodies are. of the double standards when it comes to It's a double sex. standard. Even it's with like, the language we use, oh, he's getting some and she's giving it up. What is she giving up? Honestly, because at the end of the day, if I fuck, usually when people fuck, yeah. it's because women want to, not because guys do. Because when right. guys get it, when they when they, the women don't want to, it's rape. It's rape. Okay. Right. So, so it, I think we should, we should change the narrative, we should change the language, and we should stop controlling women's bodies but i also feel like changing the narrative is also bringing acknowledgement to that y you ain't gotta be a hoe if you don't want to be a hoe right okay mm -hmm. but if you feel like you are a hoe <laughs> what can you do to get your honus deleted okay so br speaking of honus deleted the first time i heard about this was drea yeah she was on the breakfast club and she was like your honus can get deleted because so many times people kept calling drea a hoe right which I don't understand because I think that we only probably know two or three people you fuck. How are you a hoe? You don't I fuck three people because I, fuck, I fucked over three people. So am I out? I think they called her a hoe because she left her kids to go fuck Chris Brown. So? You wouldn't leave your kids to fuck Chris Brown? I would not. Especially at the prime of his time? Chris Brown, when he first came out. They said her kids were eating crackers and cockroaches. That's what <laughs> that's what they think, though. We don't they know that, though. She have no one babysitting her kids. But that's, we don't know if that's true. We don't know but. if it's true. Like, I feel like y'all take a story and run with it. If I get a chance to fuck Chris Brown and my kids got my their grandmother to watch right. them, I'm going to fuck Chris okay. Brown. Do you think your honus can get deleted? I think that your wholeness can get deleted, yeah. but you have to choose to delete your wholeness. You can't look to other people to delete your wholeness. Like, right. you, gotta, think, you gotta first be like, am I doing some ho shit? Or like, the thing is, are you happy with the shit you're doing? Because guess what? We not even hoes no more. We're living our best life, okay? Yeah, you're, we're reclaiming our time. We're reclaiming what we're doing. Your wholeness can definitely delete. I think your wholeness, your body starts off every year. Every year, it's a new body count. And like I always say, I know it sounds like some, and honestly, it's some ho shit what I'm saying right now. If you use the condom, it don't count, okay? Because I know, count condom sex. I don't count condom sex because you don't feel it. It's <laughs> not like you're exchanging energies. I feel like when it's without a condom. I just don't count sex that I didn't come. I if feel I that. If I didn't or come, it didn't count. I it didn't happen. That. I feel that. Yeah, but if you still. didn't my pussy, it didn't, well... I don't, have to I don't have sex before that first. If you're not, Honestly, yeah. If you don't do that, we're not having sex. But on, if I don't come, it didn't count. But no, I just think that if if you a hoe, be a hoe. And, yeah. And have fun with it. I feel like stop letting someone else's opinion on you decide if you want to be a hoe or not. Because some right. of my friends, they be like, they be like, you want a hoe with me this summer? I'm like, what does this hoeing entail? Does this mean trips? This is like, because you know, hoeing can be so much different things. It's like, it doesn't right. always mean sexually. But if I do want to fuck three niggas, I'm going to fuck three niggas. And yeah. guess what? Ho well. Ho well. Ho well. So if you think you are a hoe and yep. you want to be a reformed, reformed hoe, hoe. Yep. there are ways to do this. First, Figure out why you hoeing. Yeah. Figure you got out daddy issues. You're yep. seeking attention. Mm -hmm. You don't feel like you're entitled. Like you don't feel good about yourself. Yeah. Your self esteem is down. Why the fuck do you? Yeah. Why do you feel like you're being a hoe? Men or women? Why do you fuck do you need? You think you need all these people in your bed to validate you? To validate you. Uh, acknowledge your self worth. Yep. Okay. Because we always keep saying, we always say, real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. Right. And the thing is, we're, I feel like I'm so strongly on speaking that shit into existence. Because it's like, if you really feel like you're a real ass bitch, give a fuck about a nigga. That's my life That's model. honestly. Because like, well, honestly, when someone say something about me, I'm like, do you not know real burger bag hoe well, five, five, six, six figures? figures? Like, I know it's like we're calling city girls and they're like, oh, they hoes. But we don't even know who the city girls are fucking. So why do we One of those city girls got a man. Exactly. <laughs> and a whole baby and a whole, whole life. Okay, one just got they out of jail. They talk shit about the city girls and how old they scam and they're talking about honus. The city girls are talking about real motherfucking life. Okay, and okay. they happy. And guess what? Y'all doing some city girl shit, but y'all not getting paid for it. That's why y'all probably mad about it. Ooh. Okay. I must have struck a note. Okay. <laughs> but no, if you do think you're a hoe and you want to you know reform just abstain from sex find different Stop, ways know. and different avenues like to, and different outlets which also goes to the next point of interest when we're saying like focus on yourself and your dreams instead of niggas stop chasing or these men and start chasing your dreams Okay. Oh, Get in start that chasing these men and women. We, we forget guys can yeah. be hoes too. Niggas, niggas are hoes. hoes too. Niggas is hoes. Niggas is hoes. You is they hoes. never reform. Niggas is hoes. Niggas okay. Is hoes. Okay. <laughs> Don't matter the age, sex, 
No, I did. They, the sex is male. Sorry. <laughs> and stop accepting the bare minimum. Yeah. You know what? Make that nigga buy you some shoes first. Mm -hmm. Make that nigga take you out on a couple days first. Make that nigga pay a bill first. Anything. Make it so it's like you feel yeah. that you're getting something out of it. Out if you it. think that you are just giving your body away freely, you know, just give some wiggle room, bitch. Just, just wiggle room, you know. Give yourself a little bit of some. You know, and get if you, you some free dates. To fuck for free. It's cool. There's nothing wrong with fucking for but free. But guess what? Drake told us. This shit's so good, I shouldn't yeah, have to fuck for free. free. Fuck for free. I know you're working day and night to get a college degree. Yeah, so <laughs> stop fucking for free. Make that nigga pay a bill. <laughs> Not make even pay a bill. Just make him treat you like a fucking person. Oh. Black Lives Matter. I'm talking about paying bills. Make, uh, make that nigga pay a bill. <laughs> Buy him some shoes. Make him a furniture daddy. Furniture <laughs> are the best. Okay. A rent daddy. Mm. <laughs> so... Niggas always talk about how we don't love hoes. We want a real woman. But honestly, you niggas love, love hoes. Y'all love them. So if you feel like you a hoe, these niggas love you, baby. Mm -hmm. Because we always be talking about like, ooh, why are all the hoes wifed up? And like, we still single and da 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 da. Because I saw this meme. It was like, real woman outside. Like, real women right now are at home reading books and da 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 da. No, we not. We not. We out here hoeing. <laughs> okay. You know why? Because there's nothing wrong with being a hoe. I think that the negative connotation that will go, comes with being a hoe comes from people with their insecurities. I'm not insecure about who I am or it what I bring to the table. It comes from men. It does. Men want insecure to control men. women and control our bodies. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, why are women put on this platform and men are put down so it's, here? So it's like pretty much saying that y'all's dick is trash. Y'all yeah. can have community dick, right. but we can only have three bodies on us. Right. Or God forbid. Right. Like, that's weird to me. That's so weird. with that being fucking said, you a hoe, I'm a hoe too. What's good? What's good? What's popping? Can we be reformed hoes together? Okay. Like, I ain't got time for that shit. So the age old question, can you turn a hoe into a housewife? Yes. 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 I say that because, you Before know. Before we even talk about that, I want to know, can we turn a drug dealer, a criminal, a felon into a house husband? Because you're always talking about us. Oh, you can't turn a hoe into a First and foremost, niggas don't like being husbands, but they like having wives, okay? Okay. All right. Let's like, get that real clear wives, right now. Why is it can't turn a hoe into a house? Well, nigga, you, you got a couple felonies. Nigga, you ain't got no job. Can I turn you into a husband? What, what, why would you want to turn him into a husband? I'm looking for someone that already got that shit equipped, okay? Yeah, that's true. Like we already went over. I'm not a ride or die, so I'm not sticking around for you to get your shit together. But I'm not, men expect us to. I know, but I'm not going to stick down for the come up when you're on your house nigga shit, okay? I'm getting me a man that's already fully established because I'm a fully established hoe, okay? Period. Period. Don't even fucking matter. Like, you think I'm a hoe? I'm a hoe. I think I'm a hoe? I'm a hoe. It's like, to me, it's like... Stop making it so negative and just honestly, if you know who the person is and if you know what you're doing with right. your pussy, like, are you fucking At me? this age, I feel like we're too old to still be asking about body count. We are. Because does it fucking, I think the only thing that matters is like, is it disease free? Because I think that's something we don't talk about. Like, I think, the only how, thing, did I fuck any of your friends? <laughs> if I, if I didn't fuck any of your some friends, shit. <laughs> we good. Honestly. Yeah. But no, I just think that. The conversation should be, yeah, did I have any sex with any of your friends? Or, Am I disease free? Or do I have any STDs? Period. Cause that's, Don't ask me my body cause let's, let's be real. Because as an adult, you're going to have sex with people. You know, you have to kiss a couple of uh, frogs until you get to your prince. That's just Period. how it is. You're not going to meet. At, you like, have to go through some hoes, time. Not even that. Yeah. It's like not every nigga that you fuck is going to be your man. Yeah. Honestly, sometimes you just want to fuck someone just to see what the dick's like. That's some hoe shit. And guess what? I've done that. Sammy did it. I've done Thug that. Thug motherfucking Sammy did that I shit. I did it. It was fun. I never told him to get And because I don't blame you. You know what? Do what you got to do because guess what? They always say, you don't get a car and load without a test drive. Period. Okay. So there's some people, like the ages question, can you turn a housewife, who are hosts, reformed hosts. Yeah. Okay, there's Amber Rose. Yeah. I love that hoe. I love Amber Rose. I, I love her. Too. I love her slut walk. I love what she's doing. I love the mess she's. And I, that's why I think yeah. when I talk about stuff when it comes to hoeing and like things of the nature of that should be negative. I always think about her because she turned her being a hoe into a slut walk. Uh, yeah. And I'm just like, it's really taking the word and just re Branding, redefining it, like nigga. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we always call each other nigga and don't think anything of it. But if another white person like. Are you calling me nigga? Like, you know? That shit don't fly Exactly. With me. So you have to just really take something and just say, does this even relate to me? Is it something that bothers me? Right. And if it does, why does it bother me? Right. So why does being a hoe bother you? 
It don't bother me. It don't either. There's Kim Kardashian. You know, she had a whole sex tape. She a ho ho. Don't let anyone tell you you can't have a sex tape and still get a husband. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> she got a hoe. And, and Kanye adores the fuck he out sure of He sure does. He said, my girl a superstar all off a home movie. He said it himself. He sure did it. He's guess what? It. That's why I'm saying. Have a partner that's okay yeah. with your fucking flaws. Because right. guess what? You have a life before someone. I'm not about to come to you as a Virgin Mary. I'm so fucking sorry. No, I'm Some not. people might come to you like that, but... That bitch ain't me. Just like people who do porn. And people always focus on females who do porn. Oh, how can they have a husband? What about the niggas who do porn, porn? Too? And niggas, niggas have so OnlyFans too. You know men have OnlyFans. And the niggas that are on, on not OnlyFans, the niggas that are on porn are like the most degrading ass niggas that want to like fucking come all over your face <laughs> and like shove their dick all in your mouth. Yeah. Like they doing shit that like, you know, people are watching. I'm just like, y'all watching this woman get pretty much degraded. But we're really praising the man for this shit, and right. the woman is a hoe for it. And she's a hoe for it. Yeah. Like, why she a hoe? Cause she likes sex. Right. Lamar Odom, he's another reform. Someone turned Lamar Odom from a hoe into a house. And it wasn't man. Khloe Kardashian. You know, he was. I remember his story came out. He was found cracked out in a whorehouse. Mm. And some some lady why is with him. Be, why it gotta be a whorehouse? He, why can't it be a niggas ain't shit house? Because niggas that ain't shit go into houses like that, okay? We gonna redefine it, bitches, because I we, wish we you guys. We're not calling it whorehouses no more. We're calling it niggas ain't shit, shit houses. House. Because guess what? I'm not a slut shamer. I'm so here for y'all. I'm here for you. Okay. Because guess what? What would you do if your son was at home crying all over on the bedroom floor if you're hungry? And the only thing I do is when to go to the man for a little bit of money and his dad is gone. You ain't never heard a song by... Um, I, of course I've had. I was going to say, but... but you like, were just seeing it so fast, I didn't want to join okay, in. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, <laughs> and someone's with Lamar Odom. So, uh, apparently, you can't turn a hoe into a house husband. There is uh, Charlie Sheen. Also, but also, like, we're, we're talking about Chloe. She's trying to reform Tristan. I think that Chloe has a thing for hoes. She wants a nigga that she can try to build up. I think it's that she yeah. doesn't feel that highly of herself. Yeah. So, she thinks that if she can make a product to something great, she will, you know, reap the benefits of it. But Tristan isn't a reform hoe. He's still a hoe. He's still a hoe. So he's a, a hoe you couldn't turn into a house husband. Lori Harvey. You know. Future's still a hoe. Yeah. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, that's your business. Uh, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Sheen lost his whole career because he was a hoe. That's funny to me that mm -hmm. he lost his whole because he got HIV. And they fired him off a of two and a half men. I like that show. I've men, never seen men, it. Men, 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 men. Never. think there's an age limit to being a hoe? No. I know that we said earlier that um, when you over 25, you can't really be a hoe. But um, Black China, you an old ass hoe, okay? I feel like if you're over 25, you can't be a hoe. You can't be called a hoe no more. I think that Black China is a hoe, though. <laughs> I think that I just retracted what I said earlier. So you retract what you said, okay. I did. I'm going to call you an old ass hoe, even though I'm not an old ass hoe, you know? I just think you just an old ass hoe because, you know... You were old as hell. I can't, I can't explain it. I don't yeah. know your life particularly. I don't know much about her, but I just know that it's some whole shit going on. I don't know what's going on in Black China in her life. She had a whole baby out of being a hoe. She got two babies out of being a hoe. Oh, you right. Yeah. But I, I like Black China. You know, mm -hmm. she finesse niggas. She finesse a game, and she's all about her her dollars. So I can't be mad of it. Hey, about yeah. A, if yeah. a dollar sign is what's got she you. She a black woman, so you know what? I'm I'm I'm, I'm Okay, so what about Carly Red? I'm going to be she a old hoe. <laughs> oh, she's she like 45. So, so why the black China can't be an old hoe? Because well, she's only 35. So the 10 year difference. Uh, no, make a Charlie, difference. Carly's actually almost 50. Yeah, that bitch Yeah, she, is. she lied about her age, remember? She did so, lie about her so fucking age. So she's almost 50, and she's still being a hoe. She is still being a hoe. But it's like why we said, how are you still being a hoe? Like, I don't know. I feel like there is an age in the beer. I feel like after a certain age, you got to slow down. You do have to slow down. Yeah. We just said that you can't be a hoe after 25. But if you fucking like three niggas on one season, but then that's only three niggas. We don't even know the niggas in between. So is she really a hoe? I or feel like, just like if you're in your 40s and you still being a hoe. That means you having fun still. In your 40s? Oh, no. Uh, it depends. Honestly, it depends if you're looking. If, okay, if my mom made the life decision today to be out here and just be fucking niggas. As long as she's safe. Yeah. And it also depends on, like, some people who just get out, like, long marriages or who've been, like, yeah. in, like, long-ass relationships. And they just like, okay, I've been with the same person for 20 years. Now I'm wilding out. So, you know, there is I don't, that. I don't necessarily think that's a reason why to, like, wild out. I think that you're wilding out because you want attention, not because of the actual need for, like, love. I think that the whole wild out stage, I think that you should have a healthy balance of, like, talking to people and focusing on yourself, especially if you're with someone for 20 years. Yeah. I don't know if it's an age limit of being a hoe. 
I feel like, to me, honestly, if I was with someone for a long ass time Mm -mm. and I got out of the relationship, I'm hoeing out. But do you know how hard it is to date and be a hoe after 20 years? So it's like you have to be a hoe during the time. Because <laughs> you can't just come out being an old hoe if you don't even know how to hoe anymore. Like the game That's changes true. The over game 20 has years. Yeah. Like the game changed too much That's for you to try true. to get in that bitch like, I'm a hoe now. Like, you see me? <laughs> you know what? Older hoes, can you slide in my DMs? Because I want to know. <laughs> I want to know how to hoe. I want to know how to hoe at 40. Okay? <laughs> So speaking of that, have you ever been? Did you have you ever had a whole phase? I definitely had a whole phase. Um, from the time I was fifteen to the time I was twenty one, almost twenty one, I was with one person. Okay. You know, I lost my virginity to him. He was the only guy I know. Uh-huh. Whatever. So when we did break up, I was a sophomore in college. Mm-hmm. So um, I kind of wild the fuck out. You know. What's wilding out? Like, is it like? Fucking like five niggas in like the same week. What is, no, what is, no, no, no. What is, I, I, what is had a, I had a fuck buddy. Okay, that's not really hoeing. That's just a I consensual had a sex. couple fuck buddies. Oh, yeah. That's not hoeing though. Well, to me, after having going from one body, mm-hmm. yeah, to, to having like multiple, multiple. But I'm was, sure you weren't having sex with them unprotected. No, definitely. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> that, I don't. That's they not were broke. Of course not. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but, broke niggas don't get unprotected. <laughs> they don't. If you please stop fucking broke niggas unprotected. If you doing that, stop. Stop right now, sis. Only if you got some money, you know. We're trying to try Futures and Chris Browns and mm. Russell Wilsons. Mm. <laughs> but Russell no, uh, yeah, so when me and him broke up, um, I had lots of fun. You know, my whole first year of college, it was just dedicated to him. Every weekend, I'll go straight back to Houston and be yeah. with him. And when I didn't have to do that anymore, I'm like, oh, wait, this is college? Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all party? Y'all have fun? Yeah. I can bust my pussy open? I can twerk? I can do this? I can shake my ass? I was doing all of that. So, yeah, directly from the time I was 21 to 24, Yeah, I, I even kissed a white game, man. I was having fun. Oh, my God. I've never even... So, you had two phases of the whole phase. Yeah. What do you mean two phases of the whole you phase? You said that you was with somebody, and then you, like, had a phase... Oh, the phase was 21 through 20, now. 24. 24? Right now, I'm not really hoeing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm chilling. Quarantine got you slowed down. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. But, uh, yeah, 24. I was having fun. I was a bust out pussy, wide open, till her, till her, bring it back. All of that shit. You know, I had the best time of my life. Don't regret it. You, if I, I feel like everyone should go through their whole phase. Honestly, if I don't think you should go into college in a relationship. It works for some people, but I feel like you grow some... The person who I was when I was 15, 16, 17 wasn't who I was when I was 20, 21. Not even that, though. It's like... Who you are when you're 21 is not the same person you are when you're 23. Period. So um, I'm talking about like going into college with a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I feel like you that change is, so a, much. That's a horrible. Yeah. Horrible. We, and, I, and I did that. I made that mistake of going. I'm not going to call him a mistake because I love him and it was an experience. But it kind of was a mistake, mistake to go into college with a boyfriend. And mm-hmm. I don't recommend it. But sometimes it does work out for people. Fuck them. But <laughs> it's not smart because you not. are you have a whole new world. Really. Mm-hmm. A whole new world. You better tell her me. <laughs> I don't know what the words are. But no, really, experience life. Put, put that pussy open. Put that dick open. Do put something. some miles on Put some miles on okay, it. Put, a, like, you need to put, cause put you a mile and then get a warranty, bitch, because a pap smear is a warranty, okay? You don't want to be with the same person and then wake up 10 years later like, fuck. Yeah, I ain't living my life. <laughs> honestly. Fuck. Honestly. I'm still with the same dick for 10 years. But some people are content with that, honestly. And that's fine. That is okay with That's that. not me, because I like to experiment I think the problem explore. was <laughs> The problem was, I did the same thing. I had a boyfriend going into my freshman year of college, and he was a senior in high school. So I was, like, kind of in the same situation as you. And, uh, like, before... My boyfriend was older. Oh. Oh, he was? Mine was yeah. younger. Yeah, he was two years the older only, The only younger guy I've ever dated in my yeah. entire fucking life. Yeah, so we were dating. Like, my senior year of high school, he was, like, a junior. And then when I went to college, like, he, um, like, a week before I went to college, he told me he cheated on me. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Unpacking it. And guess what I did, bitch? You I stayed with him. Oh. No, I stayed with him. Oh, I thought you were going to say you I stayed. Up. No, I stayed with him. And, like, so, granted, like, you know when they have, like, those little um, PAL programs where you can go to college, like, a week earlier just so you can know where your classes are, X, Y, yeah. and Z? Yeah, yeah. So I did that, you know? And he was coming back from going out of town, um, like, around the same week, and he was, like, trying to, like, figure out if we were going to solve shit. And I'm like, you know, we're still together, blah, 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 no big deal, da, da, da. As weeks progressed, like I said, I was going to, I was going home like you were doing. I was going home like every fucking weekend just to see this man. Was this in Iowa? Mm-hmm. Okay. Was he white? No, okay. I've never dated a white man, y'all, and I never will. Hello, never even kissed a white man. 
I have. I've kissed a couple of white men. But no. Um, I haven't kissed a white man in a couple of years, though, and I don't plan on. Look at that face. I don't even believe you. But no. I said, I don't plan, and I stopped. Like, hold up. <laughs> but no, is, he, um, is he about to spend yeah. some money? Is he about to spend some money, though? Okay, I'm sorry. But no, no, no. Um. So, long story short, he broke my heart because he ghosted me like a fucking weirdo. Yeah, he ghosted me. High like, school boys. High school shit. Like, real high school trivial shit. And he ghosted me. I was so heartbroken because I thought that, like, it was so crazy because it's like looking back, I'm like, why did I think this man was the love of my life? You know when it's so crazy when you're in high school? I, you, I thought he was, I thought I really I thought that the totality of my life was to this man. Like, I was yeah. so devoted to someone that was only dating for like only a year and a half. And the thing was, it was just like, he would tell people that I was his girlfriend, but he would never tell me I was his girlfriend. So he would always, he, yeah, exactly, some weird shit. He would tell me, like, you know, we're, we're cool, you know where we are, da da da. But those people that were dating, so no one would ever try to pursue me. So he was like really manipulative and like, at oh, such a young age, at damn. such a young age, niggas still. I'm telling you, niggas they ain't start shit. Off not shit. Niggas ain't shit forever. Like, girl, they, they're yeah. going not so shit. So long story short, like my heart was broken. So I'm out here just like wilding the fuck out. And you know what? I was like, you know what? In high school, I wasn't fucking ball players. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck them. And now I'm gonna go a, a, a step higher. I'm gonna fuck friends that are ball players. I'm gonna step higher that are roommates. Are, yeah. Go, girl. Go, yes. Go. Go. I'm ready for you. Go, go. Who's next? Go, no, honestly. Go, go, go. And I remember me and my friend, we had this conversation. And this is actually, the, it, we aren't even friends no more. I don't even want to call her my friend. Because <laughs> we were all sitting in a room. We were all drunk because we were talking about shit. And then she came across this meme. And it said, if I was to get pregnant today, would y'all know who it is? So we all went around the room. <laughs> we get to meet. I said the same thing. This bitch is drunk. So, you know, you know when people sometimes are drunk, like, they don't know, realize what they're saying. Yeah. So, when it gets to her, I was like, if I was drunk, you know, who would it be by? This is what she said. Fuck if I know. <laughs> I was so embarrassed and traumatized. I'm like 18 years old. So, it's like, to me, I'm like, you you wouldn't know who it was? Because, like, at that time in my hoeing, I was, like, consistent with one person. Yeah. Like, so, I was just like. So, bitch, you think I'm a hoe. But you was fucking, like, eight niggas when you was in high school. So, you forgot, bitch. You forgot you was a hoe in high school. And you finally got a fucking boyfriend. So, to this day. Oh. I feel like the time from your 18 to 25 is prime hoeness. Honestly. Like. Prime And I think that if you. And if something extends your hoeness, then guess what? Acknowledge it. Appreciate it. Grow from it. And be a hoe after. Go through your hoe phase. Hoe phases are fun. They're amazing. And ain't nothing wrong with it. It's nothing wrong with it. Okay. It's okay to fuck niggas. I'm not saying. Or bitches. Or bitches. But I'm just saying, like, be safe, be cautious, and also protect your heart. Because whatever you're doing at the end of the day is for yourself. I'm not just saying women empowerment. It's empowerment for yourself because it's going to help you get to wherever you need to go. Right. But if you continue the behavior, it's kind of destructive. I'm going to say fun to my dick. Find the right dick. Find the best dick that pleases you. Because don't don't settle for mediocre dick. Mm -hmm. Women love Especially in your hoeing phase. If, if you're in your hoe phase, you are allowed you to bounce find, around. You better find you that better best bounce one. Around. You better bounce on and that dick, okay? You know, don't, don't settle for mediocre dick. If he ain't eating that pussy from the back and making you come and doing all that shit, bitch, move around. And you know, now that we're like on I, a more elevated scale, yeah. if he not sucking toes and eating booty and um, calling you, because you're not supposed to be my fuck buddy and not calling me, because you're going oh. to have to have to check up on me. Okay. I'm sorry. I got I'm like, if I'm going to be a hoe, I'm now I'm going to be an elevated hoe. Like, I'm going to be a hoe with standards. Like, be a hoe with standards. Yeah. yeah like, we, we before grow. I didn't require this kind of shit. But now that I'm getting older, like, call me. Make no, sure I'm alive. That's what's good. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. nigga, what's good? What's good? Right. So, have you ever dated someone while they were in their hoe phase? I think that my high school boyfriend I was dating while he was in his hoe Oh, phase. yeah, he was definitely And I don't think phase. that he realized he was he in his hoe phase. He cheated on you. He was definitely yeah, in his Yeah, I don't phase. think he, because um, I guess it was like, I don't even really know all the details of it, but I don't think that he realized he was in his hoe phase because I think men don't realize they're in their hoe phases when they think they constantly. Men are in their hoe phase their whole entire life. Honestly, because they constantly need attention. They constantly yeah. need it. Granted, women, we need that shit too, but we need it for security, not for validation. Yeah. We just want to make sure that we're good with you. Like, yeah. I can get attention from you for, like, 10 seconds. I'll ask for some more later. But it's just, like, the validation of knowing that we're good, we're great. But guys need attention just because just their fucking dicks gets hard. Like, honestly. Like, oh, do I make your pussy wet? Like, you know, type shit. And I think that men don't realize how damaging that is when they can't figure out what they want. Because it affects the person that they're dealing with. I don't know if I've dated someone if they were in their whole face. I probably have. I yeah. don't remember. Yeah. I feel like... Uh, 
niggas, y'all always in y'all's whole mm-hmm. phase. Like, when are y'all not hoeing? And the thing is, I think men only realize they want to settle down when they feel like they're too old to be a hoe. Niggas only know they want to settle down until the girl they should have been with left them. <gasps> That's so true. That is so true. The one that got away. Right? It makes them realize, like, damn, I need right. to stop being a because fucking... Because men... To, in my opinion, men don't realize what they got till it's gone, and mm-hmm. they don't they don't be with the person they need. They be with the person that's around when they're ready to settle down. Yep. So once they realize that that woman that they should have been with is gone, mm-hmm. they're like, oh shit, now yeah. I should settle down. Yeah. Now and they, and they literally are probably stuck with someone they really don't even give a fuck about. You know, I know a guy who got married because of convenience. Wow. So I feel like men, for the most part, don't marry out of love. They're married out of convenience. And women and, want to, and women want to marry for love. And we want to marry for love. Because I know and guys I have marry, a friend like that. Guys marry who's around at the time yeah. they're ready to settle down. I have a friend like that. Like I have a friend that he um he's with someone. They've been together for such a long time, but he's like always talks about how he's not happy, how he doesn't want to be with her, blah blah blah. And I'm just thinking in my head like, why are you still with her? I was like, this ain't got shit to do with me. I said, <laughs> I'm just thinking I like I, I understand you want to confide in someone and feel like someone's not judging you, but I am judging you because you're constantly telling another woman. You're not even mm-hmm. telling your homeboys yeah because you think your homeboys are probably gonna try to smash your woman if you tell them that shit but you're confiding and telling me that you don't want to be with her and i'm just like that sounds like a personal problem personal problem honestly because i can't get you out of your situation because you have to want it for yourself right and i think that men want what's ever comfortable for them they right. want the easy choice that's why we always say when people do like, yeah. interracial dating like we said y'all want the easy choice y'all want someone's gonna let y'all do whatever the fuck y'all want to mm-hmm. and that's why he's there he said she doesn't know whatever she don't, she, wants to I don't have to answer her. She answers yeah. to me. You know? Yeah. Right, right, right. Speaking of niggas, you know, <laughs> how to spot a hoe nigga? You know, how uh-huh. to spot a nigga that really ain't shit? Yeah. So, if you find a trust the process ass nigga, if you're trying to be with someone and he tells you trust the process, bitch run. Then, I think that... <laughs> how to don't spot ever him. tell me trust trust the process. If you want to spot a nigga that's still in his whole phase, you got to realize it's yeah. someone that... um. What is What was I trying to say? It's really one sided. Like when like I think we were talking to Christy yesterday and she said if you're confused about him, that's your answer. I feel like no answer is an answer. If yeah, you have it, mixed feelings, you don't know where you stand, that's an that's, answer. That's that's an answer. Yeah. And I know that's very unfair for men because women are very direct of what they want and where they want to go. But I think it's very unfair for men to think that women are gonna stick around while they figure the shit out. Yeah. Oh, Honestly. Yeah, it's, it's unfair to us. I think that men yeah. think that yeah, she knows I fuck with her, but I don't know to what extent. Right. You know, and they right. think that they have time. And sometimes you don't have the luxury of time with every bitch because some bitches know. But some bitches know their worth. They know their worth. A bitch like me will move around in a second. Okay. And we guess what? If shit don't work out, like we said, oh well. <laughs> On to the next nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and his dick bigger. Okay? So, any and a, and, a, and a guy who tells you, I want, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. Yep. That nigga just don't want to be in a relationship with you. I think, yeah, niggas that don't want to define a relationship, that's the problem. Yeah. Like, it's different if you're, like, fucking somebody and you're like, hey, what's going on? And they're like, okay, so what do you want to, like, what do you want us to be? Yeah. Like, someone that takes the initiative to ask you is more invested than someone is, like, you ask them, they're like, well, we so do So, do you this. advise women to ask, what are we? I think that if you need to ask... For your clarity, do it. Because okay. guess what? We don't have to... We're adults. If someone can't communicate with you that they either want a fuck buddy relationship with you, they want to, like, just keep things how they are. Like, if someone can't even tell you exactly what y'all are, get the fuck out of there. Because... See, I'm not a what are we type bitch. Because... I'm not a what are we are bitch either. But I feel like if we're... We've been fucking for, like, six, seven, eight months, nine, ten months or something like that. And I feel like I have to question if I want to be with you. Because sometimes, you know, okay. it starts off as something else and then you start feeling feelings for them right, right, right. so you have so, to um, let's ask this can fuck buddies just remain fuck no, buddies no okay no you don't think so i say that because i've never like even in my little whole phase i've never like even because like when i was consistent with someone i was fucking him like every periodically but then after a while i'm just like yo you like you the best one out of all the niggas that I was trying to <laughs> fuck with. So I'm like, I'm like, cause you're really considerate. You're kind of this, this, and third. You're everything I didn't need you to be. So now, like, I'm consistently only fucking with you. Yeah. Cause women, this is what we do. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm dropping gems, y'all. So y'all don't kill Damn, me. I'm dropping. I'm dropping gems. <laughs> but um, women, when we find someone that we really like, we like probably like start navigating to only fucking with them but we don't yeah. tell the guy we're only fucking with them we keep it like we make it seem like a super casual when at the end of the day we're really only fucking you we just need to see where your head's at right so sometimes when we ask you what are we it's because we're trying to realize if we just want to keep being a hoe 
or let this shit go because the more you keep fucking someone that's a f friends with benefits that you actually are kind of catching feelings with yeah. it only gets worse for you because they don't want to because I think we're in a tug of war of like who has the most feelings and like where are we at and like yeah because this is saying that's whoever loves the most loses and why is that the case? Why that's not the is, case. The, why is the, the person case. who cares the most loses? Like, I don't think that's the, the case. The person who cares the least always runs the relationship. And that's kind of true. I don't think the that's person person who, I personally, I don't think that is. I just think it because is. I've noticed like relationships where I care the least, the guy was always chasing me. Mm -hmm. And he was always doing what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And whatever I wanted went. So, and relationships where I cared more, the guy didn't really give a fuck about me. Yeah. So, I, I believe, to me, my opinion, don't crucify me. Relationships only work when the man loves the woman more than the woman loves the man, in my opinion. Because I feel like women naturally love harder, yeah, and we do more, yeah. And guys do the bare minimum until they see potential, and then they start working hard. Mm -hmm. So, relationships usually only work when the man cares about the woman more than mm -hmm. the woman cares about the man. Yes and in no. In my opinion, I just think that's a very toxic. We're, we're always so like, oh, I give up, I quit, whatever, whatever. whatever. Yeah, I, but I think like, that's also a very toxic narrative to have because yeah. I think we see so many things on social media that makes us think that love has to be suffering or love has to be this and the third or someone has to care less. I think that if you have a mutual respect I, for someone. When you care, it, you take it take advantage of. On, honestly, yeah. I think that sometimes you have to have the vulnerability to be there, be present. Okay. I think that sometimes we're really scared of getting hurt, so we yeah, don't want to put ourselves out there. Hurt. And I think we have to stop being scared to be hurt and just really feel what we feel in the moment of what we feel it. Because you know how they say you miss 100% of the chances that you don't take. Yeah. So if you think that because you care too much and you feel like you're going to be played, I think I would rather take that shot of like getting hurt than be thinking of what ifs. That's where I'm at in my life. I think I'd rather... Nah, not me. I'm, I'm about to... I'd rather free yeah. fucking fall, and I'd probably fall on my ass, but I'll get the fuck up stronger okay. than keep living a very safe life Yeah. and just wondering what the fuck would happen if yeah. I would have made this chance. Right. But it comes to the end, that niggas ain't shit. <laughs> it, that's really what it ain't is. Ain't gonna be shit. Ain't Never gonna, gonna be, be shit. shit you know? And I'm so sorry to the moms that raise the niggas that ain't shit. Right. Okay. So... Yeah. So can you delete your wholeness? First of all, you gotta be a hoe first. So even if I'm doing whole shit and if I don't recognize I'm a hoe, and the thing is, you can delete it if you acknowledge you're a hoe. If you don't feel like you a hoe and you just live in life, yeah. do whatever the fuck you wanna do, because guess what? Niggas ain't shit, niggas ain't never gonna be shit, never say never gonna be a shit. After a certain age, you're too old to be a hoe. A and absolutely. your hoe is, if you feel like you a hoe, your hoe is can delete it. Because I feel like your body starts off every new year. Okay. And if you feel like you your a hoe, is. follow us. Because we some hoes. <laughs> you need to follow us at The Real Sip and Spill on Instagram. Twitter. On Facebook. No, Sip and Spill 1, one yeah. on Twitter. On YouTube. Honestly, because at the end of the day, we're all for women empowerment. We're not for slut shaming. We're not for anything. We don't do that. So whatever, here. whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever the fuck you're not, whatever the fuck you is, it's cool with you as long as you know who you are and what you're bringing to the Period. table. So you stop know? allowing sexual things and men. Stop determine allowing men to define how who you feel you about are. yourself. Yeah. Start allowing. Stop allowing society to define who you are. Period. Talk your shit, black woman. You know, okay. If you want to pop your pussy on a Thursday, pop your you pussy feel, on a Thursday at two a.m. Pop your pussy on a Thursday. Okay. Period. I'm and if you want to leave it. a nigga on red after you suck his dick in the car, leave him on red after you suck his dick in the car. Period. It happens in front of new. And while you're at it, leave us a five star rating because we some five star, star bitches. bitches. <laughs> Bye. All right, guys. I'm going to see y'all next week. Air Monday.